Hi, this is MTB214. I'll be reviewing the new Captain Boomerang figure from McFarland Toys. This is the collector's edition from McFarland. See in the box. Side. This is a Flash villain. I don't remember him on the Flash TV show, like the WD WB one, but I remember he was in Suicide Squad, so I'm going to put him with those figures. There's the side, the top. Doesn't have much. The bottom has the barcode there. So that I pre opened this to make it easier. So, put the figure in the box. Comes with different hands. So, we have six hands total. Comes with the fist hand, and the other hand is right here. Is a, pretty sure it's another fist. The card in that stand that no one really likes. Two boomerangs. Yeah. Take it out of this plastic prism. Back and back is the stand. They all come with. Okay. Let's see. He's got a soft goods coat. So he's got two fist hands that he comes with. Two like hands for that. Two open hands. So let's take a look at him. So this, he's got some articulation, can move his arm up, down, around with the jacket. His head can go back and forth. It can't go, it can go down well, but it can't go up well. It can tilt. The legs can go forward, back, double jointed knees. There's a lot of motion at the waist and the torso, the diaphragm region. He's got the soft goods of this, um, what's the word for it? Scarf and jacket. The jacket is what I really like that can go take that to put it on other figures. Let's take this off. See how he looks. It might be easy to take off the hands. Okay. Let's slip this thing off. So, without that, you can change his hands up to hold the boomerangs or a fist. It's got this scarf that can go for other figures. I like the soft goods for figures. So, he's got double jointed arms. You can see the movement more there. He's got definitely more movement without that on. I just want to see. I like sort of the soft goods more than him, but he's more of a Suicide Squad villain to me than of um, Flash. I just want to check out his coat with a few other figures. So this is a custom Bruce Wayne that I made. It's the body of the Miz Mattel figure. Like the cheap one was like $12 with the head of the... Batman figure that came with two heads from the digital wave. I'm gonna try and get this coat on him. Yeah, this was what I really liked. That the coat can go on different figures. Okay. His hands in that. Okay. It seems a little big. <laughs> Um, okay, there it goes. So, it sort of fits on Bruce. I'm gonna try it on the Undertaker, but if it was black, it would be better for the Undertaker. So, let's move that aside. I don't know if his hands pop off. Yeah, they do. Okay. That makes it easier to get on, to remove the hands. He's bigger than Captain Boomerang, so let's see if this will fit. And he has got those elbow pads on too. I don't know if this will fit, this is the first time I'm trying this. But Undertaker's one to wear a trench coat. Um, let's 
Get him that phone call. I don't think this comes off now. Yeah, this isn't working. That's right. <sighs> I could mess around to get this to fit better, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, this isn't working perfectly. <laughs> if I put on the coat differently, I could get this on to fit him. And it would just have to be black instead of this blue color be more suited to the undertaker i'll mess around with that later i don't want the video to take forever okay put his head head back on so this could work if just the arms have to be adjusted so let's pop this thing off yeah the soft goods is good that you can mess around with different figures with them people in different outfits yeah, I'll see about if I could remove the arm the elbow pads or something to get this on him okay but, so here's Captain Boomerang the scarf the scarf I'll probably put on some other figure let's see Not the right color, but it would go with the uh, Santa Batman could be wearing a scarf, right? Santa Batman could have a scarf on. Just would have to adjust that. So this is definitely a cool figure. I'm going to display him with the jacket off probably and see about putting the jacket with someone else. Possibly. Oh, a suited Clark Kent. Could just take this, switch the head, and put it on that, then have Clark Kent. Okay, so let's take a look at him with some other figures from various lines to see how he fits in. Okay. Come on, stand up, buddy. Okay, there you go. Oops. I'll just move that over and see how he stands with other guys and girls. Huh, he doesn't want to stand right. He's being a rude boy. Well, he is, he's a villain. He's not a good guy. Okay. So here he is with Catwoman, Darth Vader, Kane. The Prey, 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 uh, movie, Predator, and Wolverine, so he definitely fits in with the larger size. He's bigger than Darth Vader, who's big for the six-inch scale. So this is definitely a cool figure. The soft goods of this scarf and the jacket. are definitely good qualities that, and things that come with this. So definitely would suggest to check this figure out. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Have a great night.